So, the first international break of the season is done and dusted. Now, we can go back to business. Team, welcome back to Newcastle Fans TV. As always, hit the like button, subscribe, join, become a member, give yourself a high five and all that stuff. Proper football is back this weekend. But there was some positives to the international break. Sandro Tonali strayed in there. Two appearances for Italy looking fantastic. Cannot wait to see him back at full throttle in a Newcastle United shirt. Does he start on Sunday? More about that later on. And Anthony Gordon. Two superb performances uh, for England as well. Desperately unlucky not to be on the score sheet. Should have had a goal against Ireland. Looked lively as well uh, against Finland. More of the same, please, for Newcastle now. Let's pick up where he left off from last season. Because we haven't shown it yet. He hasn't shown it yet. Newcastle haven't shown it yet. So, fingers crossed that comes back this Sunday at Wolverhampton Wanderers. Now... Few selection dilemmas for Eddie Howe this weekend, and the positive ones. Will Callum Wilson be back? Will Joe Willock be back? We'll find out more tomorrow. Uh, no, Friday, I beg your pardon. Friday, we'll find out more when Eddie Howe does his usual uh, pre-match presser. Um, but with or without the return of Willock, there's still... Um, some selection dilemmas to be had. Um, Johnny and I looked ahead to the Wolves game and, and fleetingly mentioned this, um, a couple of these selection dilemmas on the Greenwood and Mulliner show the other night. Just take a look at this. It's just can Newcastle do it? I think it's very, I think, it really, I think Wolves is a very good test in Newcastle, if I'm being really honest right now, because Wolves are a bit hit and missy at the moment in time. They've lost to Arsenal and Chelsea, but they picked up a point against Forest. You're not surprised that they lost to Arsenal and Chelsea, but with particularly the Chelsea game, Sam, it, the scoreline was very, very depressing from a wool side of uh, side of things. Six two at home. You know, if Chelsea won two one, you wouldn't be shocked at all. But it was more the 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 margin of defeat. Is this a potential banana skin for Newcastle, or do you think they can go to Wolves and you know actually really express themselves? Um, well, like you said, it's a good test for us, but it shouldn't be. It should be a game where we're going there full of confidence and getting the win, no bother, 2-0, jobs are good and move on. But you're right, it is a good test. Um, and that's a minor concern. It, the, the starting eleven will be so, so interesting. I, I would expect how to start Longstaff instead of Tonali. Um, great to see Tonali getting match fitness to Italy I think that would help a treat please for him that he's straight back in the uh, Azuri fold and that he's he's back in the starting at 11 um, Spalletti knows what Tonali's about and he's, he's fully appreciative that like he said himself he's got one of his best players back um, Did that surprise you actually that he just got straight back into that starting 11 straight away? No So can he do the Not same for Newcastle? How's more captain cautious though with things like that, isn't he? He's he's more of one to whilst the team is winning or isn't losing or whatever, he will keep you there until like but you have the shirt. And we've seen it so many times, haven't we? You've got the shirt until you know you've you've warranted to lose it. Um but yeah, it'll be an interesting game and I'll be very interesting um on a number of key points really. Um, who starts, obviously, a few players going away for international duty. So is it Longstaff or Tonali? Is it um, Cher or Kraft? Is it Livramento or Trippier? Is Willock back? Is Wilson back? Obviously, you know, um, Isaac on the score sheet again for, for Sweden. I think the goal against Spurs will help him a lot just to get that monkey off his back that, you know, he's got the goal. You don't want to be going into the first international break as a striker and, you know, he keeps getting plaudits from pundits, from fans all and all across the media and rightly so, but you don't want to be going into that first international break without a goal, do you, in the Premier League? Yeah, he, he did he that. that goal. He really did because he's been left isolated and he's been feeding off scraps, which is a crime. 
So Johnny says there that Wolves should be a good test for us, and I was a bit more um, um, <clears throat> a bit more assertive in a way that um, this is a game we we should actually be winning, um, and it's a game that we haven't won uh, for quite a number of seasons now, um, and it's annoying. It's it's starting to annoy me. Yes, most of the time they have been draws. Um, obviously with the odd defeat chucked in there as well, uh, which was, of course, famously the last game pre-takeover. Um, Jeff Hendrick with a with the high point that day with an equaliser, but we, of course, went on to lose 2-1 that day. It's about time we won at Molyneux. Wolves haven't had the best of starts to the season. And, look, it, it's time for us to go there and take three points. There's no two ways about it. Um, as I mentioned previously, Gordon looking electric for England and I want to see him back on the left uh, and, and to see Barnes back on the right. Yes, um, the front three should be a bit more fluid than what it was against Spurs. It was still quite rigorous and um, rigid in their in their structure. With, with Gordon on the right, you are losing so much of his game. Yes, he still does okay there, but we haven't seen a properly good Anthony Gordon performance so far this season. Early days, of course. However... Seeing him on in for England on that left hand side just makes you realise. Come on, let let's get him back on the left. Give Barnes a go on the right. Possibly it's worth it. He's probably he's he's a better player than Murphy and Miggy, uh, and and deserves uh, uh, to stay in the team. Don't get me wrong. Got the opener against Tottenham last time, of course. Another one of these positional debates is Kelly and Hall. Kelly with the assist for Barnes's goal against Tottenham and did well. Hall, bit more of an attacking um, fullback though, isn't he? And, you know, do you want to get at Wolves? Do you really want to go there on the front foot and, and try and assert and dominate, which um, we haven't done with any of our opponents really yet this season, have we? Um, so maybe Hall could be an option. Kelly hasn't done anything really wrong though so far. So where do you stand on that debate? Get in the comments for all of these selection dilemmas really. For that, there are more than one. Uh, another one is on the opposite flank. Trippier, who's, who will be staying at Newcastle, um, the the Newcastle hierarchy, hierarchy, speak English, the Newcastle hierarchy reportedly um, turning down loan offers from up to four Turkish sides over the past couple of weeks. That was according to Sky Sports News earlier this week. Um, you would think Livramento, who obviously was called up to the England squad, Bit unfortunate that he didn't get on to make his debut, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but he'll come back surely, um, buzzing for the experience, and you know they'll be, his time will come. He will definitely get that England cap, you know, so long as he stays injury free. Very good against Tottenham, um, so I would expect him to continue at right back. It, it, is it now time we we do just come out and say he is Newcastle United's first choice right back? You have to, I suppose, and and Trippier is is the backup, but still a huge voice in the dressing room, still a massive presence around the club, and still very much needed as well. Don't forget that it is too soon to be disposing of Kieran Trippier. He still has a big big role to play this season. Another debate down that back line. Fabian Cher, back from suspension. Does he come in for Emil Kraft? I think so. Um, for all that Kraft has done very, very well when coming in to deputise for uh, Cher during the suspension, you're kind of losing that... Um, I mean, it's wrong to it's wrong to describe it as attacking flair when you're talking about centre back. But you you know what you kind of know what I mean with Fabian Cher because he's so adept at going forward and and making stuff happen. Um, I thought we've lost that a little bit with Kraft and Byrne both sort of out and out centre backs, not really wanting to be adventurous and going forward. And I think we've lost a bit of that with 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 Cher's suspension. So I'm expecting him to come back straight into the starting eleven despite Kraft being superb over the past three games. The other debate in midfield, of course, what permutation of the three do you go for? I'm expecting Joe Linton, Bruno and Longstaff to start. Will Tonali start? <sighs> he started the previous two games for Italy, didn't he? Um, 
I think it'd be a bold choice from Eddie Howe, and I, I, I don't mind it, mate. Don't mind it at all. If, if, if we're there on Sunday, and you know, team news is out seventy five minutes before kick off, and you see Tonali in that starting eleven, you rub your hands together and go, "Let's have a bit of this." Come on, Sandro is back, baby, and uh, I wouldn't mind seeing it. But I'm expecting Longstaff um, to to start on the right hand side of that trio. But it's a difficult one all over the pitch, really, isn't it? And there's a lot of selection headaches. You know, despite um, no real transfer activity in the previous two windows now, how has selection dilemmas once again? People starting to come back from injury. Botman, according to to the press, is back in, in December time. Um, and, you know, Lascelles was probably a bit after that too. So there will be still a few more injuries uh, the squad have to cope with for a while yet. But there's a bit of squad depth. And and to see Wilson on the bench, possibly, potentially, on Sunday gives us real, real options and firepower uh, in the later stages of the game. It's a game we should be going there looking to win and we have to be confident it's about time we put down a marker and show a good performance and show a positive, convincing result. Let me know your thoughts in the comments regarding how selection dilemmas on Sunday. Like and subscribe and stay tuned to Newcastle Fans TV.